Hello there. We'll go through some Workday Advanced Compensation interview questions and answers in this video. I'd want to introduce you to Uptalk before we get started. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. So, to learn more about the latest and current technology, check additional videos on the Uptalk channel. Without further ado, let's get started. Workday Advanced Compensation Interview Question and Answers What is Advanced Compensation in Workday? Compensation or Advanced Compensation Cycle is the review event in Workday. It runs for a certain amount of time so that compensation changes, stock runs, and bonus payments can be looked at, recommended, and given out. Most organizations refer to these activities as their compensation cycle. What are the business benefits of Advanced Compensation? Save time and make sure everything is the same by having business processes like offer, hire, and compensation reviews automatically fill in compensation values. Get rid of time-consuming and error-prone manual maintenance of static worker lists. Static lists are often based on worker attributes, so it is easier and more flexible to target the attributes in a more direct and flexible way. Make it easier to meet business requirements or regulatory. What is the difference between default compensation and compensation defaulting? The compensation attributes for a position are what are meant by default compensation. Workday automatically populates and fields when a position or job is filled based on the default compensation set for the position. The term compensation defaulting just means how Workday populates compensation values. Why doesn't Workday default compensation in the request compensation change task? The request compensation change task is used to Suggest a change to an employee's current compensation, not to decide it in the initial phase. A compensation change for single purpose. Workday doesn't check eligibility rules at the start of population plans in the proposed column of the transaction. When you use the buy compensation package and rule or buy compensation rule options to propose compensation, you can see the plans that are eligible. What is the compensation matrix? A compensation matrix is a table that assists you to determine merit increases, bonus targets, or stock grants for employees. You can build a matrix with Rating Scales Potential Rating Compa Ratio Retention Ratings Pay Range Segments What are the business benefits of compensation review? The compensation review process enables you to schedule important compensation milestones. Configure the organization type and roles with authority to create, edit, or review awards. Process staffing changes while compensation reviews are in progress. Manage budgets. Include merit, bonus, or stock plans. Select the organizations to include. Select the eligibility rules for target employee populations. Identify those responsible for planning, approving, and reviewing awards. What period do you consider when prorating awards? Workday uses the process period end date to determine eligible employees based on their plan assignments. The proration calculations and performance ratings were used. Explain search reports in Workday compensation. When you access a compensation review as either a reviewer or a participant, Workday allows you to access to the grid from these reports. Compensation review search employees, default, participant, within the organization summary. Compensation Review Organization Search Report, default, enables access to the grid configuration for the reviewer. You can also access the grid from custom reports. Explain the concept of compensation reviews. Compensation reviews set up process with acceptance limited to the whole hierarchy or a collaboration between process and participants. Planners can complete the process for a subordinate organization on behalf of its participant or send the process back for correction. The compensation administrator or HR partner can also review organizations and awards as a planner. The inbox notification completes only after all organizations submit up to the compensation planner level and the planner submits. What date does Workday use as the merit year in order to calculate proration? Workday uses the process period end date specified when you initiate the process and goes back exactly one year to calculate the proration. How is the merit pool calculated? Workday calculates a merit pool with the help of compensation basis and merit targets of employees in the same company and merit plan. Compensation basis of employees in org and plan merit plan targets of employee in plan equals merit pool. How does Workday handle remainder amounts? 
work they store spool contributions at the individual employee level and calculate spools once at process initiation to determine pools at the organization level work they store remainder amounts at the organization level for example an organization has a 10000 us dollars pool divided among three employees each receiving 3333 us dollars and 33 cents work they store the remaining one us cent at the organization level How do you manage a compensation survey covering multiple countries or locations with different survey results? You can set it up as a single survey, then load the job catalog and job matches. For each country or each location, set up a result scope using the maintain compensation survey scopes task and attach eligibility rules to each scope. How do I annualize hourly plans? Using workers schedule weekly hours, you can and quart annualize and quart hourly plans. This is the same as an quart prorating and quart a salary plan planned by the hour with an hourly frequency work day figures out a workers pay by using the workers weekly scheduled hours and an annualization factor set the calculation method using the maintain frequencies task why would i want to use default compensation on a position so that every worker who hires into that job position gets the same amount of compensation default compensation lets you set up guidelines plans and amounts for a position's compensation examples position budgeting we are tracking default compensation as budgeted or approved compensation sending target or approved compensation to an external applicant tracking system to aid in giving concise compensation guidance to those proposing compensation What is the target amount? Only for plans with a set amount. You can use up to 4 decimal places to enter the recommended positive or negative amount. Use the target amount to give each worker the same merit raise or decreases. When making a compensation matrix, you can choose a merit plan that is based on money. How to create bonus plans? You can create bonus plans to assign to employees. When Workday generates the bonus pool as part of a compensation review process, it takes into account the rules and target profiles in the bonus plan. When creating bonus plans, consider how you want to divide or consolidate bonus plans by region, job level, job profile, or grade. Set up targets for each bonus plan, such as no target, a single target, or multiple grades. What period do you consider when prorating awards? To determine workday uses the process period end date eligible employees based on their plan assignments the proration calculations and performance ratings were used parallel events include those effective on or before the merit bonus or stock compensation snapshot date between the compensation snapshot date and the effective date after the effective date what target takes precedence when an employee matches multiple targets Workday uses its order of precedence to derive merit and bonus targets for each employee. One, guaranteed minimum target for individual employees. Two, employee individual target. Three, compensation matrix target. Four, plan profile target. Five, plan default. How do I pay a referral bonus? A referral bonus is not part of a bonus plan. Instead, it is a one-time payment. To give a bonus for a referral, one, establish a one-time payment plan for the referral bonus. Two, use the request one-time payment task. What is the difference between the bonus pool calculation and the merit pool calculation? Like the target, the bonus target results from individual target overrides, compensation matrix, bonus plan profile targets, or the bonus plan default target. However, the bonus target uses eligible earnings during the period specified by the plan frequency. It can also include company or modifier scorecards that reflect corporate or division performance. What terminations events occur when a compensation review process is in progress? These termination events can occur while a compensation review process is in progress. Terminate employee, end additional job, end international assignment. What are total eligible earnings? The total eligible earnings display the sum of all employee total compensation amounts using either total base pay. The total primary compensation bases are associated with the plan and assigned to the selected merit plans. What survey scopes do you need? On the maintain compensation survey scopes task, you can set up the scopes that belong to each compensation survey vendor. Locations like the Tri-Cities area or the San Francisco Bay area can be the focus of a survey. 
With eligibility rules, you can link survey scopes to employees. What is the employee visibility date? With the employee visibility date, the administrators can choose a date in the future. Employees who sign in as employee as self after that date will be able to see their updated pay-related compensation data. Then, managers can tell their employees about pay changes outside of Workday before the date when the change will be seen. What are search reports in Workday? Workday lets you get to the access from these reports when you are a participant or reviewer in a compensation review. Compensation review search employees, default, participant, within the organization summary. Compensation review organization search report, default, enables access to the grid configuration for the reviewer. You can also access the grid from the custom reports. Do you assign grade profiles manually? One can set up eligibility rules for grade profiles and compensation plan profiles to make sure that positions and workers are automatically and accurately updated. What criteria do you use to assign compensation plans to employees? Design your eligibility rules around these criteria. You can then roll out, assign, plans to specified populations. What worker populations do you target for periodic merit, bonus, and stock awards? Compensation reviews require that you specify merit, bonus, or stock plans. Workday includes workers assigned to those plans in the compensation review process and doesn't use eligibility rules directly. When configuring compensation eligibility rules, consider your periodic compensation reviews and their target populations. I hope you like this video. So, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel to know more about such information. Check out our Uptalk channel. Thanks for watching.